Hello, Capricorn and Gemini. I'm already pulling a card so we can get going. This is the general energy of the entire reading. However, while I was meditating, whatever this card says, you need to quit hiding yourself. Okay, that's a big, you need to be more playful, be more open because you keep blocking people, you keep blocking um, like opportunities and, and things to go out, things to have fun, talking to people. Okay, no. Anyways, this one is like the Pisces, one of the Pisces cards. It's escape. In the traditional deck, it's the Four of Cups. It's solitude, charity, begging, hospitalization, secret enemies, exploitation, and visions. Also, you may be having some flare-ups in like your legs and in your hips. Definitely got that. So, <clears throat> it's dissolving boundaries, it's lack of definition, being under the influence of something or someone, being a victim, seeing friends as enemies and enemies as friends, not having a clear sense of things, being lost in the fog, glamour, falling under a spell, sleight of hand, being led, ocean, beaches, cancellations, well of course we're all doing that, right? Prisons, con artists, don't bring bad luck on yourself. There's fate. There's music. Um, you need to be more compassionate. Um, looking into a certain religion, you know, but not a cult. Um, clear audience, uh, which I'm part of, which is cool. Sometimes I hear people and answer them and freak them out. It's really kind of cool. <laughs> but it also makes them look crazy. Um, spirits, drinking, you know, misery, uh, answering to love. Okay. This is the garbage dump of the Zodiac. Uh, it's involved souls. They live here. They're artistic. You know, um, I am really trying to, so it offers you bliss if you don't try to escape. It's also the meeting of your twin flame. It promises losing yourself in the beautiful other. It might be like trying to hold on to a cloud. Okay, it's enchantment. It's toxins, poisons, hidden chambers, secret desires, and martyrdom. It's telling you to forget yourself and live for others. It may bring confusion and peril. It is fear and paranoia. It's beauty and love. It teaches us to write poetry and understand the messages from the heavenly spheres. It inspires you to show great kindness. And that is a message for the masses right now. Leave your political footing at the door. I am team purple. Leave your political footing at the door. We are all humans. All right. Okay, so, <laughs> anyways, there's a situation you're unsure about, and or you are not completely privileged to know all the details. Without the information, it's difficult to move forward, which I kept getting that, like you were trying to make a choice, but you couldn't make a choice because you didn't have all the decision-making tools, all right? It's something that you were mistaken over in the first place. The results are going to be, or the information that you receive from that is going to be like shocking. Like, damn, I didn't know that. Okay. Um, mm -mm -mm. It's also about magic. Okay. You cannot be without the other. You need to search for clarity because there's a lot of deception right now. That's escape is all. Escape. All right. I think by the new moon completely you'll know. Alright, can you please give me more about this situation for Capricorn and Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Thank you, by the way. Did I even say that? Thank you for tuning in. I am Brandy. If you'd like a more general reading, you can go down below to the link and go to book online. It's PayPal. If you want to do Cash App or through Facebook Messenger, you just go to my Facebook. Anyways, moving on. You can see my reviews on Facebook. Give me more for Capricorn and Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is this escape spirit? 
What is this escape? Tell me with clarity and protection. Two more cards for the story. Two more cards for the story. Ah, confusion. Yeah, most definitely. It's the Seven of Cups, if you're wondering. Too many options around you, too many decisions, you don't know which way to go. One more. Alright, we'll take it. The world. Underneath the deck is the King of Pentacles. There you are, Cappy. There you are. It's business oriented family. Alright, so we have the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the world. Someone or you are trying to rush a decision, but you do not, again, have all of the facts. You do not have all of the story. There is some trip that you're going to take, and you're going to hear from a Scorpio, Aquarius, a Taurus, or Leo. All right? That's where you're going to get the information that you're seeking. So tr stop trying to rush you know, out of something. It has to do with your home, your money. There's a lot of frustrations around you trying to get uh, answers and, and keep your stability. You know what I mean? Hmm. Give me more. These videos keep getting shorter as I go. <laughs> Messages keep coming in a little faster, a little more clear cut. So that was the Nine of Swords that fell out, but I'm trying to get another one. That is anxious. You don't know what to do, right? There's paranoia. There's distractions. Your emotions are up and down. You know, your sleep pattern's all off. All right. You know, you're waiting to hear about this message and you're not hearing anything. It's not coming in fast enough. Could be due to stimulus. I don't know. That's good. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse with the Nine of Swords. Soon you're going to be out of the dark. Soon you're going to have all the information that you need because the Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold, not having all the information and financial woes, someone not speaking to you. Well, Someone's either getting ready to speak to you and tell you the truth or your money is going to definitely increase. You're going to have the clarity that you need. There is going to be hard work that needs to be put in. Okay, we have Taurus again. Okay. Le bull, le bull. We also have a lot of swords here, so I'm going more with there's a Taurus or an Aquarius, even you, Jim, okay, that's here. So, again, we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus. Everyone seeks the guidance. Everyone seeks the counsel. This is marriage. This is official business. Going by the constraints, going, you're very, um, oh, sorry, totally thought I would leave you here. You're very practical, or you're dealing with someone that's very practical and traditional, all right? And the Eight of Swords is you being in your own way. Feeling like you can't make that decision. You can always make a decision, love. If you don't have everything that you need and someone's refusing to give that to you or someone's refusing to put in the work for the relationship here, you got to put it where it goes because it's general, then walk away. You know, walk away until you get more clarity. You know, focus on yourself until you get to more clarity. If it is about you or whatever, then, like I said, if if you can't get it, it don't rush it. I mean, don't be like, bah, fine, you know, because there is there is a lot of work frustrations around the money and the home and the relationship here. You have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You know, that's, again, money problems and turning your back and walking away because nothing else can be done. It's like judgment almost. Yes, you have your foundation, you have your emotions back here. But, you know, you don't feel complete. We have the Page of Pentacles. That's learning something new. 
you know, trying to get your footing again with money that's trying to start over. Give me more. All right. Give me more, please. I did just hear Virgo in my head, even though this is for Capricorn and Jim. So, someone dealing with a Virgo. You know, maybe you have an idea and someone you thought you are going to collaborate with isn't corresponding. Do that shit on your own. Start it on your own. Start small. Doesn't have to be the bang. You know, if you're the one doing all the work in the relationship and you keep talking to them, you know. Okay, well, consider that shit on your own. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do for your own home and your family. So we have the King of Wands and we have the Ten of Cups. And the bottom of the deck uh, is Virgo, I believe. It's the Knight of Pentacles showing up. Probably why I heard it. So the King of Wands is Aries, um, Leo Sag. Ten of Cups is Cancer by Scorpio, whatever. There's a lot of emotions wrapped up into this, and you're wanting to be very ambitious. You're wanting to celebrate. You're wanting good things to come your way, but there's a lot of work. A lot of work that has to be put into this. It cannot be done fast. You know, you're wanting to be confident and happy, but I feel like all this works in your way and it's not going as fast as you would like. You know, sometimes when you guys skip through, I feel like I need to say that, you miss part of the messages. Stop being impatient. You come for a message, you need to listen to everything we say that comes out of our mouth because trust me, it's slip ups that's meant for someone to hear. What was that? Two of Swords, right? Decisions, decisions. Being very defensive with Two of Swords, Seven of Wands, Five of Cups, bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. So that is you trying to make a decision, but one of these swords is going to get super heavy. And again, you got to use logic over your heart or heart over logic. Which one is it that you want? Because you're very defensive. You're on the fence. You feel like no matter what you do, you lose. Because you have to walk away from a job or you have to walk away from this partnership, this home. Uh, the Virgo and Sag that I got just had these cards, right? They had to leave a home to start anew. So these energies you go vice versa. Check out the Sag and Virgo reading. Um, anyways, because it could be your moon sign or whatever. <sighs> You're not looking at viable options. You're only focused on being defensive and not opening up and listening to other people. You're not doing such a great job of trying to figure this out on your own because you're not getting the information that you need. Okay? You're focused on these spilt things and you need to pull your big girl, big boy panties up. No offense. And take survey of what the hell you have because you're on top of this. You're able to overcome this. This situation. If you take your blinders off. Alright? What is it that your soul feels? that you need to do in order to move forward and to get out of this stagnant energy. Because you have a seed that can be planted. You have a real idea. You have a stable foundation that you can go to. Yet again, we have Virgo here. All right. So you are needing time alone to make that decision. You are needing to detach from this person or that job to be able to see the clear path in order for the stability to come back. It's something that you've been wanting to do. Okay? Someone also feels very smug with the Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting more of not the wish fulfillment. I'm getting someone is very happy with themselves for making you feel so frustrated about these choices of do I leave 
Do I stay? Do I start? You know? Ah, pfft, those people, man. What else does Capricorn and Gemini need to know, please? I'm using my own Oracle deck here. Get some more information. Creativity and energy are necessary for the next step. Right, that is the King of Wands. What was coupled with them? The King of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Exactly. Energy and creativity are needed for your next steps. You need to be creative with what is around you. What you have available. What your hidden talents are. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, me. <laughs> I wrote to you asking... Take a deep breath. Take a moment. Unattach from it so you can see clearly. Stop trying to, you know, just be like, oh, well, this one's available. No, you got to put the work in. Got to put the work in. Okay? Get out a pen and paper like I've been telling everyone. Like I told my, my personal read. Like, you need to make a list of what you want from life and who, what type of person you want to join you. And if they don't have that criteria, move along because you're wasting your damn time. All right, give me two more, please. Two more, two more. All right, what's that one? It had to be hard so you don't forget it. Be the fool occasionally. All right, right. So you have a lesson to learn about having the work put in so you can take the next step. And don't be foolish all the time. That's why you need to make a definite decision here. We're going to get Postcard from Spirit and wrap this up. Give me some words, please. Capricorn and Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this is a relationship you're worried about, go down to my link. Then go to Book Online and hit the $25 Relationship Free. Super easy. Super, super easy. Okay. However, Friday the 24th, which is today that you'll be seeing this, is my birthday. <laughs> I will book your reading, but I will not be doing your reading on my birthday. If you would like to donate or be appreciative, you can do that through the Cash App as well. It is Brandy Tarot. B R A N D Y T A R O T with the cash app. All right. Okay. Give me words, please. Give me words for the situation. For Gemini and Capricorn. What the hell is going on? I think you got people trying to offer you something that you're like, ah, I can't do that right now, right? Can't do that right now. You can. <laughs> but you gotta be smart about it. There are times you get lost but refuse to see your part in things. Oh my god. They, they blow my mind all the time. It happens to everyone. Something feels familiar but sort of off. You're feeling confused. It's best to throw away that map you're using which only lets you navigate based on your past experience. That isn't what you need right now. Instead, take a deep breath. <laughs> Open up to the truth. A desire to stay in denial means that part of you doesn't want to be responsible for the pattern that shows up in your life. Yes, this is the right time to wake up and start again. By the way, you will always get another chance. You have unlimited chances to start again. We love you so much. We really do. Be gentle with yourself. Coming out of denial is like temporarily blinded by the super bright lights allow your eyes to adjust carry on special one a beautiful life awaits that is you being blind to what is in front of you and the offer that is in front of you all right because you keep going on being confused not having all the answers you know it feels familiar like they said but you're needing to throw away the old past that you do how you do things that's how you open up another path. All right.
peace out. <laughs>